part of a group on Facebook and they tried to rip a hole into Christina for advocating this march. And up until today, I was just on it a few minutes ago and they're still like, oh, it's pointless. It's a, it's a waste of time. And I'm like, you can't be so dismissive because we have to be willing to believe that there's a possibility yeah, or a chance yeah. that this can all change. You know, so I heard you speak something about people who are feeding other people and picking up garbage and stuff like that. And I think they're all an essential part of this also. Mm -hmm. So could I just go down and like bring you food? Will you eat for me? <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, we have a very concrete uh, invitation for you all. We are starting uh, an activity tomorrow. We're having a, I'm going to give a public lecture at Sukkoti Plaza tomorrow. And this came out of my students after I shared this video. They just told me, Maria, we should go there and teach there and have a class there. So the university is going to go to the street tomorrow on Friday. <laughs> We're going to discuss a paper about immigration and politics. Mm -hmm. So you're more than welcome to come and to join me and maybe start Occupy John Jay. Why not? <laughs> if you if you wanna do it, if you wanna do it, stay when the event finishes. So I take your cell phones and stuff like that. So we organize it. Yeah, it's tomorrow. We're meeting at 9:30 a.m. Everybody's got their role. So just by you talking to your friends, that's it. You know that's what I'm great. saying? Like yeah. just by getting it in their head, that's it. So even if you're just passing the word on Facebook or talking to the person on the train or just watching it on TV or just paying attention to what's going on, people are going to be paying attention. And, and then they'll feel the need to go out there. Like, you know what? I'm going to have to miss work today or I'm going to I'll skip class today. I'm really tired after work, but I'm going to go down there today, you know? Yeah. It's in yeah. people's minds. Just Plant that seed and then it'll grow. Like, that's it. <laughs> I know you can so good to this, of course. Yes, Professor. What's happening in Liberty Plaza is just the beginning, and it's only one expression of what is going to be a very variegated, um, multi place, multi faceted protest movement. And there will be all kinds of roles for people in that protest movement, including taking care of kids, including feeding the protesters, including writing petitions and circulating them. Uh, that's what a protest movement is. And it's, you know, there'll come a time when these particular people will leave Liberty Plaza and the people will say, it's over. And they will be wrong because <laughs> because protest movements are not one event and they don't take place at one point in time. The civil rights movement in the United States began in 1955 mm -hmm. uh, in uh, Tallahassee. Before it ended, about 1970. The commentators had announced its demise about 50 times. But so we have a kind of, I think, simplified view of protest movements because we see them in the distant historical past. So we think that they well up and they grow and then they go down. They don't, it doesn't happen like that. It happens here. I'm there. I'm there. Here, uh, uh. Quiet. And then there. It's it's a very irregular, irregular, temporally uh, spaced out and geographically spaced out movement. Mm -hmm. And there are all sorts of participants. You know, this is a an occupation of public space. They're going to be strikes, mm -hmm. for example. They're going to be school walkouts. Are there going to be marches and parades? Probably some street battles. And, you know, we have to wait and see and play it by ear a little bit, but be ready to do our part, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes. You want to? Yes. Um, actually, when I came um, to John Day yesterday, I didn't even go to class. I went straight to the protest because there were students already there before 1 o'clock, um, you know, that started changing. So. And so from that time till the time that people actually started walking to Wall Street, it just grew and grew and grew. And so it's not just about protesting on the streets, it's also through protesting through our wallets. 
Because whether or not we are out in the streets, when we do buy things, people will still profit. Yes. These corporations will still profit from what we are doing. Though we have a message to send, it should be pragmatic. It should be, you know, sent in all um, diverse options of these corporations. You know, whether we go out, you know, on on the street and go against Citibank and you know all these major corporations, we still use them um, to gain access in what we need. So I think we need to protest smartly through our wallets. And now, because the momentum, momentum is here and it's still growing, we need to use this as an opportunity, you know, to break down the system of capitalism. That is beautiful, what you just said. It's true, and I hear people talking about it in the park. Well, what do these guys think they're going to accomplish? They're using McDonald's bathroom and drinking out of plastic water bottles, and, you know, like, okay, yeah, that's true, I get it. You know, we're hypocrites sometimes, but we are conscious of that, and we're trying not to do it as much. You know, like these shirts that they made, mm -hmm. these were made in in, U, in the USA. These were made in LA, you know. Um, and some guy, you know, says, well, where was that shirt made? I'm like, it was made here. Oh, okay. You know, and then, <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, it was made here. So you're right. Those little things that I we have to do. I want to leave, I love So, so that's, that's very important, and I'm glad that you brought that up. So even the little things that we do, you know, it's hard for us to get water there without using the plastic bottles. I've been trying to think of other ways that we can do it, and other ways that we can not. You know, I, I just put my money in Capital One yesterday. You know, I mean, it, it's going to happen, but the little steps that we take and being out there and letting them know. I mean, we need a bank, but we don't need a corrupt bank that's stealing our money. Exactly. So, so, so that's the difference. But, but I, I love that point that you made. It's, it's very important to be thinking that way as well. And, you know, we got the fighters out there that are the ones that are ready to get beat up by the cops, and then we got the ones that are chanting, and then we got the ones that are working out logistics, and we got the ones that are thinking, hey, guys, let's get water from this place because it was bottled here, or let's get big tanks of water so we're not using all this plastic. Let's get our shirts made here. Let's bring in the stuff. Let's have donated things so we're not going out and buying more stuff like that. You know, that's a beautiful. That's a beautiful point. I love it. <laughs>